It's such a great day to discuss the weather as it is just about perfect outside, especially if you're sick of some of the cold weather that we've had the past few days, especially Saturday and Sunday mornings. Both of those very chilly, especially north of the lake with light freezes there. We will be warmer for most of this week all the way through Thursday. Tomorrow and Wednesday, though, we are expecting some showers and also on Thursday showers and maybe some thunderstorms, possibly a strong storm or two. And then on Friday, it turns much colder and windy again. So we're on this weekend schedule where we're getting the big cold fronts for the weekend last weekend, the weekend before that and the upcoming weekend. Current temperatures in the 60s. Here's our time lapse from today. We had a few clouds earlier and now look at this mostly sunny skies. Really hard to spot even a whole lot of clouds. There are a couple you can see behind the skyline. Our temperatures today should max out in the upper 60s. To me, this is just about perfect. It should be gorgeous. These southeast winds not super strong, but they are helping to bring in a little more moisture to set us up to start to set us up for some showers tomorrow and then also making it a little warmer. 4 p.m. Maybe commuting home after school activities. Temperatures will be in the middle 60s and then through this evening, even by 7 and 8 o'clock, we may still be at about 60 degrees before we drop off tonight into the 50s, both north and south. So not a super cold night, but certainly on the chilly side, uh, clouds will be increasing tonight to help to keep us a little bit on the warmer side. Now here's our precision cast 1 p.m. today looking gorgeous, of course, but look at the rain that we're expecting to start to move toward us. This is a little disturbance that's been crossing Texas and will kind of dive south and southeastward tomorrow. But notice that tomorrow morning we will already 8 a.m. have a good bit of cloud cover and also some showers off of our coast. We'll fast forward to about 3 p.m. tomorrow. Here's the rain. You can see not super significant, but we will have some showers, maybe a brief thunderstorm with a few rumbles of thunder here and there. We'll fast forward into Wednesday and you can see the showers still continuing to stream over us. Not continuous, but this is by noon. You can see some spotty or scattered rain and then we'll fast forward into Thursday and I've paused it here Thursday morning, kind of quiet, but look what's out here approaching Alexandria and Lafayette, a line of some showers and storms, and we will see how slowly it moves across our area. Still a couple of days to track this system as it takes shape out to our west, but it does look like our rain Q&A or rain frequently asked questions are going to be answered with the Tuesday and Wednesday for showers, Thursday storms, how much about one to maybe three or so inches of rain and severe, not really looking for a lot of severe weather, but again, we'll kind of keep our eye on Thursday in case there are a couple of strong storms. Now also there's something significant happening to our north. This is our snow forecast for this week, so you may hear news stories later this week. I've paused it here by Friday. The white indicates uh, more than a foot of snow and some Locations may get a good bit more than that across, especially Missouri and the Midwest and over into the Northeast too, after they've already, of course, had a lot of snow, especially in the Northeast over the weekend. So lots of winter activities, I'm sure, going on to the north, but we're just looking for a nice kind of warm setup for this week. In fact, tomorrow we'll look for highs around 70 degrees, Wednesday, maybe even 72, 73 for Thursday, and then our big cool down comes for Friday. And notice Friday we may start with a few showers. Highs may only be around 50 degrees and notice that our chill down on this weekend brings light freeze or frost conditions north of the lake and pretty close to frost conditions south of the lake Saturday and Sunday mornings, but no hard freezes expected in the next seven days. All right, that's